Good day, ladies and gentlemen. You can have a hydrogen car with a reasonable range for 20,000 euro, and you can fuel it for free. That sounds interesting for you? Welcome. So, first of all, I'm gonna tell you what most likely your electric car seller and the fully charged show is not telling you. Electric vehicles are pretty expensive, and we start at 53,000 euro and the seller at the Tesla studio he won't tell you that you will be paying 79 cent a kilowatt hour at the Autobahn to recharge this car which sums up to 7.9 euro per liter gasoline equivalent or 21 euro per gallon gasoline equivalent so right now these poor electric car drivers are paying the most for the least energy. So that's why you should consider hydrogen as a reasonable alternative to that. If you take a look on the international hydrogen price list and you go towards the hydrogen cars here and you check out the prices on the bottom, you will see that fuel cell electric vehicles are very expensive. But here in the middle is a not so nice picture of the Seat Ibiza CNG, which means compressed natural gas. So, but let's get back to the electric vehicles. You cannot charge electric vehicles with renewable energies unless you have a battery bigger than the car battery itself. When you have a solar area, you see here the day and you see in red the load of a typical household. Here in blue you see the direct sunlight irradiation and in orange you see the diffuse sunlight irradiation which sums up to the gray line which is the entire work you get from the sun over the day is the sum of diffuse and direct sunlight. So imagine you come home after a long day's work and you went fully electric. It is bloody cold outside and your heat pump is pumping like hell. And you switch in your car to the plug. Guess what? The electricity won't come from your battery because even if you have an energy storage two times as big as the car battery itself, the car battery might be around 60 kilowatt hours. You need 120 kilowatt hours home battery, which sums up to 120,000 euro for the home battery. That has no cost benefit at all for this 4,000 cycle until you have to throw away the entire battery. The sun doesn't shine for several days in a row because what we see here in yellow is the solar irradiation over the year and we see we have lots of solar in the summer and little in the winter in the northern hemisphere where the industrial countries which can afford electric vehicles right now are situated. In blue we see the wind speed and we see okay it's going the other way around we have more wind in winter and we have less sun but it might blow out no it doesn't in red we see here the three days of what is an international name called dunkelflaute which means no wind and no sun for three days in a row so what happens with your electric car now so if you have a Volks electrolyzer this looks pretty different because you can now store lots of energy in the form of hydrogen over enormous amount of time. A battery in summer loses about 1 to 10 percent of its charge per month. In winter it might lose 25 percent of its charge per month because it's bloody cold and can't be charged with low temperatures. So if you take the heating you need for the batteries to be charged you will come to 20% loss of battery management system heating and the cell chemistry. 
So here with a molecule hydrogen, we can store it for years. You can have a Dunkelflaute and cover it with hydrogen. You need the solar array, you need the Fox electrolyzer. It compresses the pure hydrogen into the hydrogen cylinders. And then you have to decide how many hydrogen cylinders do I need, how many Fox electrolyzers do I need. And therefore, the members of the Fox electrolyzer community can use First of all, the International Hydrogen Price List, where you can now see the price differences which lead to wiser decisions and better project planning. You can see the costs of electrolyzers, hydrogen heaters, fuel cells, which we are not talking about today. Anyway, you take the Vox electrolyzer with a CNG refueling nozzle, you go to the storage section of the International Hydrogen Price List and we have here very many different prices for cylinders from different countries and different manufacturers. And you go down and you see, okay, here you have the price per stored kilowatt hour and you take a piece of paper you note the sum of the costs you will have and you go back to the cost-benefit calculator. And here, let's say, we have an initial invest of 31,000 euro. We have 15,000 kilometers a year redrive. We have an equivalent of a normal gasoline engine of 10 liters per 100 kilometers. And here you can type in your gasoline price. Here it's 1 euro 80 could be now two euro. Here in yellow you can type in the interest and in the second field you type in the inflation on materials. Here you type in the inflation on maintenance costs. We have the costs for the water for the electrolyzer which sums up to 14 euro a year and you have the cost for the deionizer which cleans the water. Here you can see your graph what will happen to you if you have a gasoline car. You can of course change the fuel efficiency and so on but uh, what you see here after 10 years you will have spent 34,000 euro on gasoline. What happens here you have the bigger invest at the beginning and we look at a cost benefit around 10 years then here at 11 years as you see below your loan and the less cost through the free hydrogen you are refueling are cutting out and then if we look after 10 years you will have spent 86,000 euro on the gasoline car and 10,000 euro on the hydrogen car. So this is a industrial manufactured CNG car. It is completely capable to be converted to hydrogen from a professional. This car is pretty fuel efficient. It needs about 3.5 kilogram of gas of compressed natural gas, CNG, per 100 kilometers, which sums up to one kilogram of hydrogen for 100 kilometers, which is exactly the same a fuel cell car will need, but a fuel cell car, of course, has a battery and has the fuel cell and all the technical uh, equipment is needed, and also this car is a little smaller and lighter. So anyway, with the built-in storage from the factory, you will not be able to have the same range like with the CNG, because the energy density for hydrogen at 370 bars, that's the pressure of CNG in Europe, I think in America it's 350 bars, anyway, less is no problem to refuel with the Fox electrolyzer, you might want to put further energy storage in the trunk if you have a very long journey to go. So here you see you can get a hydrogen vehicle 
for cheaper than an electric vehicle and this one you can really refuel for free because you can charge it whenever you want with your surplus energy. And you can see if you put some hydrogen vessels extra in this vehicle you can have the same range as a gasoline or an all-electric or a hydrogen car and that for very little money. I hope you found this interesting. Write in the comments what you think about this way of thinking, using existing technology to make the hydrogen conversion easier and financially more interesting. And thank you very much for watching. We have to make our living by what we do. We want you to be energy independent. Energy is a gift and that's what we work for. The only thing we ask you is please give us a like, subscribe to our channel and push the bell notification button. If you want to see the full tutorial, you can watch it on the Volks Electrolyzer community members area totally for free. You get access to the full electrolyzer mounting tutorial without commercials. You get the international hydrogen price list with all the components you need. Read the newest article and check out our explanatory pictures and schemes. You get the possibility to become a sales partner. Our shared experience and your knowledge is key to the Volks Electrolyzer community. So please consider to become a member under v-electrolyzer.de.